Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Hedron here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a brand new video and kind of a new series that I'm very excited about. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, Welcome, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Uh, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, and vlogs, do not forget to subscribe, hit that little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Because I do post videos every single day. Add me on Instagram, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So, um, if you guys have, like, on YouTube, you see lots of videos like the power of makeup, before and afters, and all that stuff. And I have been doing handbag rehab videos on my channel for quite some time. I'm going to have them linked right there and down below in the description box as well if you guys are interested in checking those out. But um, I'm going to be doing a video kind of like the power of makeup videos. But this one is going to be really easy techniques that you can use um, on handbags or pretty much leather goods in general. And seeing what a little bit of elbow grease can do to fix up a pre-loved or a handbag that you may have in your collection that's seen um, better days. And see how just a little bit of elbow grease and um, in this case, leather lotion. We're going to be using Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion on this bag. And seeing what that can do to fix up your handbag and uh, do like a nice little before and after. So... Right here, I have this uh, new to me Celine Nano handbag. I got this from the store um, quite recently, actually, just a few days ago. And if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I'm going to have it linked as well if you guys want to check that out. Um, but as you can see here, there's a couple little um, things on here, like some light scratches. There's like uh, some marks um, here and there on the bag. Uh, even like on the sides, there's like some mark see like that white mark right there uh and even right here on the little zipper pull there's like a like a white stain and then on the back there's also some light marks as well so we're just going to see what a little bit of leather lotion can do for this bag so i'm just gonna be removing the crossbody strap that way it's not like in our way and this is going to be really easy, and if you guys want to do this at home, um, this leather lotion is really easy to get your hands on. They do sell it on Amazon. I believe it's around $8. I'm going to have a link down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. And they also sell this, I believe, um, they sell this at Nordstrom and I think Macy's in the shoe, in the shoe section. Um, and I think you can also get these at your local, like, cobbler, shoe repair, whatnot. Um, but this is my favorite. I've used lots of different leather lotions and conditioners in the past, but I don't know. I always come back to the Cadillac brand and this video is not sponsored by Cadillac if you do see this I love you guys and your product is amazing so we're just gonna be using this uh, microfiber cloth and that's how we're gonna apply it onto this baby right here so I'm actually gonna you know I'm gonna flip it over this but that way you guys can see it better I'm just gonna angle it but um so the way I do this whoo we almost had a mini earthquake because I hit the table um right I'm just gonna put my leather lotion onto the microfiber cloth. And this way, um, when you're using the microfiber cloth to apply the leather lotion, you're also cleaning the bag as well. And I just like to go like in a nice circular motion like that. And sometimes this can also get rid of some marks on the leather as well. So you can see there's some marks on the handle right there. And when you wipe this onto there, sometimes all that stuff will just come right off. And leaving your bag, like conditioning your bag, I think is very, very important. Uh, it's just like your skin, leather is the animal skin. Um, and like your skin, it gets dry and it needs some lotion or moisture put back into it. And it helps make it uh, more resilient and prevent it from um, getting any like any more marks or damage or whatnot and so forth have you. Um, so that is what we're doing. And this leather lotion is really, really great. It works for almost every type of leather except um, untreated leathers and it doesn't work on suede. So for those, prod or for those kinds of leathers, you're gonna wanna use different sorts of products. But this one I feel like is a really well-rounded um, conditioner and you can also use it on Louis Vuitton Vachetta so that's what I use and I really 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 like this product so again we're going in like a little bit of a circular motion 
just applying it. And if you ever have um, parts of the bag that are super dry and because um, this does also remove some of the uh, the leather lotion from the bag as well while you're cleaning it. Just apply it with your hands, like just put a little bit on your fingers and then you can just apply it like that and just like let it sit and get into the leather, especially when your leather is dry. And then just like the warmth of your hands and just applying it in a circular motion, this helps the bag's pores kind of like open up, like the leather pores open up a little bit and you get that product distributed into the leather and then if you have like lots of extra you can always just like wipe off the excess but I always just like to let it sit and I think it's like really beneficial for the bag so you can see that that did a pretty good job on the bag and a lot of those little marks and stuff did go away and again it does um like I said it does help kind of like with fine marks sometimes it helps like the conditioner helps buff it out and it just looks fantastic. So, very, very happy with how this is turning out. Now, I want to try and hit this spot right here. See that um, light spot right there? So, you can also apply just like that directly onto the leather if you want. And then just wipe it with the cloth. You can also do it that way as well. But again, also, you should always do a test spot just in case and see um, what kind of effect the leather lotion could have. Because sometimes, depending on how the leather is dyed, um, you can actually remove some of the color by doing this. So you always kind of want to be wary. Just do like an in inconspicuous spot. But you can see there, that mark is pretty much gone. So love that that did a pretty fantastic job let's go over to the other side and try it over here as well and you can see right here there's like a light scratch mark um not too sure if that will get buffed out because it's like kind of like um the mark is a little bit more intense so there's some light ones right there and right there as well i don't really even know if the camera will pick it up but let's see what happens when we run our leather lotion over it but yeah, like, I am just such a fan of repairing handbags, fixing them up, and if you guys have watched my channel, you know how much I love doing that. I feel like, especially leather bags, um, there's so many ways that you can, like, kind of repair them, or you can even get them, bring them in to get professionally repaired, um, and you can find and thrift such amazing bags. And those, like, high-end designer handbags, sometimes those leathers are really, really nice and really robust. And just a little bit of, like, a cleaning or a conditioning can do so, like, wonders for the bag. So this is how that's looking. Do you see that mark that was there? It did kind of, like, buff it out just a little bit. And then you, sometimes you'll see, like, a little bit of, like, streakiness. Just keep going with the... Uh, cloth on there and then just again go in a like circular motion I like to go clockwise counterclockwise just make sure you get into all the grooves of the leather especially when you have like maybe a pebbled leather or something this is more smooth so but that looks fantastic and then here we go to the back the back does have some marks there's one right there one right there one right there and on the bottom right here there is a little bit of like lightning right there on the leather because this is the back of the bag that's the part that gets the most friction when it hits your body so let's see what this leather lotion will do for this man and i love celine leathers so much um one of my first handbag rehabs is actually on a celine um the mini bag it was a tricolor it was leather and it was regular smooth leather well, regular smooth leather smooth leather and suede and that one just ugh, was amazing that was one of the like videos that um really got me into doing these so that looks actually pretty good a lot of those fine lines like fine marks on there did get buffed out let's see if we can do any more Again, this leather lotion is like magic. Look how fantastic that looks. 
Ugh, so, so good. I also want to make sure to get, like, right here behind the handles. Um, that's another spot where there's a lot of friction on the bag. So wherever a bag gets a lot of friction and, like, wherever, like, something rubs against it or touches it a lot, um, those spots usually get the most wear and tear. I want to make sure to get into all the crevices, do the handles as well. There are some marks on here. Did you see that? And that just kind of like went, um, kind of went away, right? Love it. Okay, so we've got the handles. I forgot, I think I forgot to do the handles on the front, so. But handles, that's something that gets a lot of wear. Now let's do these bottom parts right here. Do you guys see? Let me see if I can zoom in. Do you guys see that house like kind of like there's like a light mark? Let's see what happens when we add a little lotion onto it. Because sometimes um, that lightness is just like when you get ashy skin and your like you kind of get like a white, like a lighter cast or whatever on your skin because there's not enough moisture. And that happens to bags too. So sometimes you think it's discolored or something, but it really just needs a little bit of lotion. And you see that? That looks fantastic. It did just need a little bit of lotion. So let's go over here too. Again, that's not going to work for everything. Sometimes it is actually color loss, but once in a while you get lucky and it is just a little dryness and just adding that conditioner on there and then when um when you notice that it's just like dryness i always just like to go over and just apply again with my fingers and i just leave that leather lotion on there to soak into the bag and that'll help bring that moisture back because it was so 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 dry and i'm going to do that right here to these handles as well Uh, the bag is already looking so good. I also kind of want to do the bottom corners just in case right here because you never know. So it's like kind of like when you have uh, dry skin, your skin is more brittle, more prone to getting like, you know, paper cuts or whatnot and have, have you, etc. Um, so when your bag leather is moisturized, it's less prone to getting marks on it. So... I'm like add I'm like using my ring my ring fingers. Like I'm adding like skincare to my skin. But you know. So let's do this part right here. See how it has like that white stuff on it? I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it'll just come off with a little bit of leather lotion. Let's pull it all the way down. So we'll see right there. Add a little leather lotion. And this is why I also love using the microfiber cloth because it's gonna pick up any of those like the loose dirt or whatever it is that's on there and that just came off like a dream and looks fantastic so whatever that stuff was it is now long gone and i am very excited about it and then inside here you see that there um, are kind of like some light scratches inside of there let's uh tackle those as well let me see if i can do this like this i don't want to turn the bag around because then the angle is not going to be as good for you guys to see so but look at that just like a little lotion leather lotion and those marks are like a lot lighter the lighter ones completely went away the deeper ones are still a little bit there but they look exponentially better right so let's zoom back out a little bit and there's the bag like honestly again the power of leather lotion is a sight to behold it can do wonders on your bags it can help preserve and lengthen the life of your handbags as well so don't just wait to apply leather lotion when your bag is looking a little dry or um, a little dirty. I like to do this, oh, especially when I'm using a bag. I like to do it like when I'm going to change out the bag. I like to clean it before I put it away. Um, if you have your bags in storage for quite some time and like you don't use it for like a few months, I will just bring it out and like 
add some leather lotion onto it just like this just so I can like preserve the leather because you know when the leather gets dry it starts to get flaky and that's when your leather like gets damaged and you don't want that so I always recommend using leather lotion um, on your handbags because it will help lengthen the life of your handbag so with that being said here is the final product I think it looks really 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 good um I love it let me know what you guys think down below let me know if you guys have any favorite leather lotions or um leather cleaning products because I would like to try them out I love it when you guys recommend new things to me um I think that we can all learn a little bit of something from each other and I hope you guys learned something from this video so if you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up say hi down below in the comments especially if you guys are new I love um, I love meeting you guys on there. Um, let me know if you guys have thrifted anything really cool recently because I always love to hear about your finds as well. And with that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye! Alright you guys, so I'm here with one of my favorite Goodwill employees, Rachel. Say hi! Hi everybody, I love you! <laughs> okay, so... Fake long chomp. Michael Kors. See how much this Michael Kors Hamilton is. These are little TLCs, not horrible. Ooh, $30 though. Hmm. It's a little like, it's a lot of work on this one. But maybe, it's not like.